Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Dad Games Badly. We are back here today with more NHL 23 and our Portland Wolves Two Ways to Win Draft Glory series. Uh, we are into the 42-43 season, uh, slowly moving around. I believe this is our 20th year, 20th season, folks. We have made it. Um, this and then five more afterwards and then everything shall be over. So um, let's, number one... Take a look at some things, because this team is definitely, definitely different. Danny Bradley now at an 83, exact bottom six. Um, I honestly, I think we've got this is his final year. Like he's coming back if he if he doesn't retire, he's coming back. Um, but I don't, I don't see any changes there. Uh, I can't do that either. So, Ernesto Chung is gone, Severson is gone, this is definitely a team that is a shell of its former self, um, you know, Nesterov is here, uh, 27 now, uh, Appel 32, Marty Hope is 25, Jennings is 33, this is, I don't even think we're going to do anything, um, you've got Dante Paul as well is here. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to shake things up and do it this way. Give people a shot playing where they should. Appel's fine and everything. Like, he hasn't started going down at 32. I'm sure he will eventually. Uh, but it's just not the same. Uh, Jalen Esch is an 87 overall now. Stanley Ferguson is taking his rightful throne at the top beside Chris Harding. Um, Bykov got signed. MacArthur as well. Uh, and Husalius, and in goal we've got Clapperton and Yekamovs, uh, and I do believe Robichaux is here as well, but he's just whatever at this point. Um, I just didn't want to have him down there taking up spots. And in the AHL, you've got people like Sillinger, Cooperman, Ladd, Finley, Doughty, Flynn, Cook, Gogol, Mason. Uh, I don't think Seti Sarno's ours. Oh yeah, he is. Oh yeah, everybody, all my forwards are finally, uh, but now it's my defense that it doesn't, but Tuiko, or Tukio, rather, who is a medium four, Rakos, who's a low four, low six, low four, and then just guys we've got to fill the spots, and in goal, uh, Lindbergh and Nevins, giving it a shot, hopefully see some growth from these two as, the, you know, the future before the series ends. Um, but yeah, I don't, I really don't know what's going to happen with this team this year. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our overalls before we get into it. Yes, I want my AHL affiliate game to be simmed, please. 90, 89, 86, yeah. This team definitely is a shell of what it once was. Uh, 82, 86, 88 goaltending is the best that we've ever had it. Um, but I don't know if goaltending is enough to get us through. So I guess the the tank is on. I mean, it's tough to tank with such good players, and I wish we could trade them, but we cannot. Um, let's just go to January. We don't have anybody to worry about as RFA this year. It was only la last year. Huh? In, in 20 seasons, we've only ever had to worry about RFAs in one season. Usually I have them signed, I just couldn't afford it last time. Also, I do want to apologize for my last couple videos. Apparently they had no audio, so I had to uh, figure it out and <laughs> record over the, the videos so you got to see it. So, um, you know, it's going to be as best as I can. I'm not a fantastic audio engineer, um, but I will do what I can to at least make it somewhat entertaining, <laughs> I hope. Uh, I haven't recorded that. I'm going to be doing that in a couple days when I have some time. I just want to record now. Uh, roster management. We are 13, 6, and 4 through December, which is hilarious. Uh, 14, 9, and 4. Like It's like we're basically going 500 right now. 
as we win three in a row, get a point in goodness. That was a nice little streak there. Uh, is that a point in six, seven games? Not too bad. And then lose one to end the month. Uh, 22, 11, and 5. For 49. <laughs> wow, the parity in the top of this division. Uh, pretty similar over there, too. Um, Ray Jennings with 38 points. You love to see it. Uh, Marty Hope with 15 Dante Paul with 15, and Nesterov with 40. Oh, no, 35, sorry. Uh, uh, Danny Bradley with 26. Jennings. Okay, so it clearly didn't work. Uh... Yeah, Marty Hope didn't work. We'll just do it like that. Well, no, Jennings is the best. Eh, whatever. Um, all right, Burrows. Yeah, kind of asking a lot of Paul, I think, that early. Also, his face-offs are just absolute trash. What's your in? Uh, he's also 69. Marty is a 70. Are these guys centers? No. Do I have any extra? I do in Cook. Cook has it. It's really good. Um, all right, that looks good. Defensively. I'm going to move Jalen Ash up and move MacArthur down because him and Bykov are not clicking. And if we switched it, it would be the same thing. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. Uh, dang it, goaltending. I'm going to say, yeah, Clappy's on a tear right now, doing quite well. Sim 2. All right, we're going to make that change. I know we're winning, so I don't know why we make the change, um, but I want to put people in better minutes where they're actually going to flourish and not struggle like they have been. Because that first line, other than Nesty, is doing next to nothing, so... Uh, we win our first game, win our next game. We lose to Detroit, uh, beat Minnesota, though. Colorado's up next. We lose to them. Columbus, we lose. Anaheim, we win. We win against Philly. More draft rankings. We don't worry about that right now. Um, I mean, we're getting points. 29. There's our 30th win of the season against New Jersey. be nice if we could yeah let's keep going see I don't mind seeing that when I'm getting all the pity points and I'm losing I guess we're a buyer I don't know how um, 80 points right now on the season absolutely love to see it uh, Kings Golden Knights us um, I mean Golden Knights have a game less than us uh, and Kings have one more, so not too bad. Seven points behind, and then they're in their 70s. Okay, so we're not really too concerned, unless we lose a ton of games here in the final month and a half. Um, then we should be fine. Uh, um, I'll see. How everyone is doing points-wise quickly. 
Danny Bradley now in 82. I mean, he's still doing quite well. Appel is doing fine. Nasty has 62. Marty Hope's not doing great. Jennings is fine. Dante Paul again has 20. I mean, Cook's not doing too bad. I'm going to put Dante Paul here on the third line. I mean, I don't hate what I'm seeing. I mean, Smoskowitz. Did he? Smoskowitz played for us last year, right? He had 21 points. So he's one point away from passing himself. So he's doing much, much better. What's your face off? So they... All right. So they have 22. So I'm not going to make any changes there. Uh, Paul has 20. Burroughs has 19. Vizier has 11. And. Almost 20, so. Uh, yeah, you know what? Honestly, we're getting the depth scoring. We're not getting the scoring on the second line as much. Like, I wish Marty Hope had another 15 points at minimum. You know, if he was around 45 right now. Uh, same with Yarvin. I mean, Jennings is fine because we know what he's capable of at this age. How also 86 faceoffs, yeah. Uh, defensively, how is that's still fine? Uh, I don't know if that's getting better or worse. I should have wrote that down, um, but it doesn't matter. Uh, goalie wise, Clappy's losing or letting more in on less shots. Um, all right, let's go ahead and just leave it outside of the change that we just made. And let's get on to the 12th of April. Hopefully everyone will be done by then. Uh, start with some winning here. Four in a row. Make it five. Uh, lose to Detroit. Beat Minnesota. Beat Colorado. And we've won four or five in a row again. Six. Seven. Lose to Toronto. Lose to Chicago. Beat Nashville and beat New Jersey for 49, 23, and 10. One of our best seasons. Uh, we won the division, 108 points. So we'll be facing uh, the Canucks. The Canucks. That'll be fun. Uh, 116. We're the fourth best team in the league. Wow. It's interesting. It's interesting to see the qual like the dr the quality kind of drop off in the final few seasons because we've been able to go through a lot of people. I guess we didn't really look, but you know, there's the odd elites here and there. Um, maybe that's why teams have been so crap in the last few years. Like when we look at their playoff rosters, um, but still interesting to see. So let's go ahead and take a look at points and kind of see where everybody stacks up. Um, entire league uh, actually sorry third best team in the league after Nashville and Chicago um, LA then Vegas Toronto Florida Edmonton St. Louis Carolina Vancouver uh, Winnipeg and Anaheim don't make it New York and Buffalo do Colorado doesn't but bus Boston does and Montreal so the Atlantic division was the worst division this year with an 85 point team well, I guess there's still another win but in all honesty, it's not going to matter much. Uh, Nestrov led with 77 points. Apple with 70. Jennings, 64 from Bradley. Honestly, that was a good season for Bradley. Um, 64 from Harding. 64 from Ferguson. Esh. I mean, either one of these two could have won the Norris this year. And it would go to Harding. But that's like... I was going to take a quick look at defensemen. I don't care about anything else at this point. <laughs> well, it looks like we've won another no Norris. And I don't hate that. Like, it's something. Uh, Goaltending. Just quickly jump in here to take a look at. So I don't have to go all the way through all those stinking things. And then I'll just mess it up here anyway. 
Uh, Clappy, 909, 267. I mean, not terrible. Like, a pretty solid team. I guess. <laughs> uh, let's just advance another day or two. And actually, we'll be facing the Vegas Golden Knights, it seems. Interesting. Yeah. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the team itself and see what they look like. And the Canucks, Burmistrov, Claxon, Strimbu, Lopez, McCarthy, Ross, Wazaneski, Antons, Crawford, Juntinen, Rasmussen, Siemens... I mean, all in all, they're pretty, like, I mean, I guess their best player is an 83. So they're, like, a well-rounded team, but every line is basically the same. You've got a high 80, a, a low 80, well, not a high 80, but, like, you've got an 82, an 83, and then you've got, like, an 80, an 81, and then you've got, like, a 70 kind of thing outside of the first line. Like, it's the very end of the second line, I guess. 82 and 81. And you know what I mean? Like, you're just looking at that, and I'm not too concerned. Uh, Columb, Drake, Leonov, Stoll, Zubov, Agostini. I mean, our defense is way better. And then it's all right here. In Burke. And then I just realized we are playing Vegas. So we'll move on to Brad Stepan. He's a goalie goalie. Um... His season was better than Clappy's. Bjarnson. Interesting. Uh, Kamachi, Gianta, Helenus, Helmanin, Nicholson, Kumatov. Like I'm more I'm more scared of this team than I was the Canucks. <laughs> Damn it. Um, our defense is still better. Our defense is still miles better, but damn. Well, you know what? I would be much. I would be way happier if Danny Bradley can end his career with a, another Stanley Cup. So I'm happy that we're making the playoffs. I'm also disappointed. Um, we are in 82, 87, 88. Um, their forward core is 91, 80, 74. So honestly, like defense and and goaltending. We have such a big gap, but there's such a big gap between our offense and offense is the main thing. You got to score goals. You got to put that puck in the net. Um, so, yeah, we will see. We will see. Uh, let's exit this, and we're gonna end this one here. We will come back and have another episode in a couple days. We'll go through the playoffs, the draft, if needed. Um, kind of hoping we have an hour-long episode of. Uh, playoffs and we end up winning a cup but we'll see you know can't really do anything until we get there so uh thank you so much folks for coming and hanging out i do appreciate each and every one of you until next time fam much love Bye bye